We all love spending time by the coast on a nice day, but have you ever wondered what exactly that sea smell is? The smell of the sea is actually a rich cocktail of gases given off by the phytoplankton and bacteria living in the surface of the ocean. And one of the smelliest and most important of these gases is called dimethyl sulfide, or simply DMS. Seabirds, turtles and sea mammals take advantage of the smell of DMS, using it to help them find areas rich in their food in an otherwise vast and featureless open ocean. However, DMS is also important because it affects the production of cloud seeding particles, which encourage the formation of clouds. Clouds are a vital part of Earth's climate system, as they help to naturally control our climate by influencing the amount of the sun's energy that reaches the surface of the Earth. Some clouds reflect the sun's warmth away from the Earth, and so have a cooling effect, whilst other clouds trap the heat from the sun close to the surface of the Earth, helping to warm it. So, the more we know about the production of DMS in the oceans, the better we understand how climate is naturally regulated, and this will help us to improve our predictions of climate change into the future. DMS has humble beginnings within the cells of tiny single-celled algae and bacteria, starting off as a useful substance called dimethyl sulfonylpropionate, or DMSP for short. Amongst other roles, DMSP helps algae cope with living in a salty and stressful environment. As these algae die or are grazed by zooplankton, they release DMSP into the seawater, where it is rapidly broken down to DMS, providing a vast and continuous supply of this important but smelly gas from the world's oceans to the atmosphere. However, our understanding of what is producing DMSP, when and where, is actually quite basic. Why do some species of algae make more DMSP than others? And what is the contribution of different species of algae to global production? Through this Natural Environment Research Council funded project and working in collaboration with the University of East Anglia, we're investigating the production of DMSP in the English Channel over the course of a year. This unique combination of world-leading expertise using a range of state-of-the-art techniques will help us to unravel how DMSP production varies seasonally and how dependent it is on the phytoplankton and bacteria that are present at the time. Overall, this project will give us a much better understanding of how the tiny algae living in the surface of the ocean, which produce a smelly but important gas, help to naturally regulate our climate.